how to drive. Drifting is quite a fun activity and a very important one in many racing games. For a bit need for speed or to advance the story, you need to know about this discipline, or Gran Turismo and Assetto Corsa, but it's just a fun activity to do. Today, I'm gonna be going over the basics of drifting through a timeline, from how to start the drift, to keeping it and learning about transitioning, to tricks and tandems. I'm gonna be using the game Midnight Racing Tokyo for this, due to it being a good intermediary to showcase this. The link is in the description. Turn on the subtitles if you want to understand the video better. So with that, let me show you how to be a better drifter. Chapter 1 Car Selection The first thing to do before trying to drift is find an actual car that can drift in the first place. The most important part is where the power is being sent and preferably it needs to be RWD. The car having an engine mounted at the front helps and then you need a good setup. Making the car have high degrees of camber at the front and zero at the rear. Using stiffer suspension helps a lot, such as 9k, 5k. Don't make your car too low, make your dumping in at 900 and 500 and have shorter gearing. Some of the most popular cars are the Toyota Chaser, the Mazda RX chassis, the Nissan S chassis and the Nissan C chassis. Chapter 2 Starting a Drift to start a drift, it's best to either 1. Make the car start generating wheel spin, either by not having enough grip or too much power. Then, turn into the corner and if possible, use the handbrake to completely lose grip at the rear. Or 2. Use a tactic known as clutch kicking, in which you press the clutch and release it quickly. If the game allows for playing with my clutch, do this before you enter in the corner to gain power and lose grip. Chapter 3. Keeping a drift. To keep a drift going, it's important to do one thing, counter steering, a tactic in which the wheels are opposite to the direction of the car. If you want to keep a drift in a right hand turn, you steer to the left. Remember to play around with this and adjust depending on the speed. Chapter 4 Transitioning To transition from one corner to another while still drifting, you need to try and maintain the momentum you have along with the loss of grip you have. An easy way to do this is by weight shifting, in which you have to make a sudden change to the direction of the steering to make the car head in the direction of the neutral by changing the load of weight on every tire or the traction. Chapter 5 Treks and Stunts what I'm referring to as tracks are some of the stunts done by flamboyant drivers, such as 360s, 180s, jump drifts, reverse drifts, and more. The best thing to do to perform this is to have a lot of confidence, scout out the rules, trust your gut, and don't use reverse gear, as neutral will work better most of the time. Chapter 6 Tandems the definition of tandem is working or occurring in conjunction with each other, so when this word is brought up in drifting, it usually means two people drifting together, while being on similar trajectories. To properly do tandems with someone, it requires a lot of cooperation, focus and estimation. There are two choices, stay up close and personal, which might look good and give you star points, but it's hard if you aren't good at predicting, which might lead to collisions, so instead try to do the safer option. Keep your distance, communicate with your body, and don't expect everything to go right the first time. And well, that is a guide to being a better drifter. <laughs>